Hi, um, so today, as you can see, I am back in Palatine, Illinois, Hoffman Estates, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, I'm no longer in Canada. Too bad. Yeah, it was a lot of fun, but yeah. So, um, I came back, got a haircut, as you can see. It's kind of like, I don't know, it looks darker because a lot of the, um, the, the bleached parts are like starting to fade away. It looks almost black, but it is not. Actually, like, my hair is still brown. Um, so that's that. And... My mom's talking about me in my bathroom because she's giving my dad a haircut now. Yes. Um... Oh, yeah, so uh, I found this poetry book that I made. Justin Kim in eighth grade, I think. And, um, I'm gonna read you one of the poems that I wrote because, <laughs> well, I obviously got three A's, but um, that's an ode, Aphrodite. It uses extended metaphor, um, using Aphrodite to f as a flower or something. Can you see the picture? Yeah, I drew that. Eighth grade. City Streets. This poem is about, uh, it uses examples of oxymoron, onomatopoeia, and hyperbole. Um, this one is a haiku. It's called Snowflakes. This one is called In a Rabbit's Eyes. And it, you, this is the quatrain form, so A, B, B, A, C, D, D, C, E, F, F, E. This is called Night Cat. And this is, this poem has eight rhyming couplets. This is also boring, I'm sorry. But I'm just going to read you a ridiculous poem that I wrote. Um, huh. This is shaped like a moon, as you can see. And then I, like, just wrote it over there. But, um, I don't know which one I read. I'm gonna read... I'm gonna read In a Rabbit's Eyes. And my, my teacher over here wrote that after an apostrophe, you don't put a space. But I did. Whatever. Okay. In a Rabbit's Eyes, trees might look like lengthy towers. Towers full of leaves and flowers. Impossible to know the real size. In a rabbit's in, in a rabbit's ears, a lake might sound like a huge ocean, a body of water that's always in motion. <laughs> to gather that much water, it might have taken years. In a rabbit's nose, the grass might smell like the grape. We might look at all those without a gape, but they might be something to the rabbit. Well, who knows? Um, okay, you have to realize the fact that in 8th grade, it was my second year speaking English, and I barely, like, spoke the language, really, to be honest. I'm just gonna read another one, because this was so silly. Um, snowflakes. Falling from the sky, gracefully and quietly, making the world white. That's cute. Yeah. Oh! This one spells out Aphrodite. But I didn't know that, that. Well, that's that. So yeah, which poem do you want me to read next? No, that's not a good question. What do you think about my new hair? Yeah, that's the question. Your question of the day. Bye.